Alright, so what's up guys, Torch Bell here, I'm bringing my first gameplay commentary on the new Annihilation map pack. Um, the gameplay you're watching is on Hazard, which is the remake of Cliffside from World at War, and I will be using the G11, I know I'm using a sniper at the beginning, but I do switch out, I'm using a G11 with lightweight, steady aim, and I want to say marathon, um, no attachment, tomahawk, nova gas, C4. No, not C4, sorry. Take that back. Jammer. Um, yeah, I kind of want to talk to you about the map pack. Um, this was my third game. I played Hangar, Silo, then this. And I'm glad I played this because I was about to quit. Um, I'm going to use this video to kind of give you my opinions on the map pack. And I've, I've had two decent like, three hour sessions on COD on the new maps only. And yeah, I'm not feeling this map pack. Um, Reasons why I'll, I'll go for each map. So first map drive in. Didn't like that map at all at first. Thought it was I don't know. It was just very hard to see people, especially people in ghillie suits. They can blend in very easily to the bush and stuff, which I guess is kind of how it would be in real life. So kind of suck it up. But um, played some search on it last night, and I have to say the search and destroy actually a pretty decent map. There's some good routes. Um, spawns are pretty. Well, where you start off is pretty linear, pretty equal distance from the farm. I say equal distance, the defenders are slightly closer as they should be. It, it, it does feel like a good map for search, but I think domination. It's not. I, I don't enjoy domination on it. Um, silo, fuck that map. I raged so hard last night playing on that map. I just don't understand that map. I don't understand how it's supposed to be played. I don't understand why it is how it is. It just seems like a load of shit. You know when you get to that map that you don't like in a map pack? Typically there's like maybe like one you don't like in the way. Um, you tend to like want to go and find routes and learn where people are and learn the spots that people are camp and actually just maybe not learn to enjoy the map but learn how to play it so that you'll still get a good game and you won't just quit as soon as you see it come up. Now for me I didn't like a nuke town um, when I first got onto Black Ops but I learned how to play it. I took time ask people a bit of advice and just learn how to get a good score yeah, off it. Because like, yeah, I may not enjoy it as much as other people, but now I can at least enjoy the fact that I know I'll have a good game playing it. But Silo, I just don't even want to do that. I don't even know if it's the aesthetics of it, or just that map. Everything about the map I just dislike. And it's a real shame because I, out of all of them, when I was looking for previews, I thought that would be probably the best. Um, now, so that's Drive-In, Silo, Hangar 18. This map again is one that I didn't really enjoy. It feels like um, what was that map in Modern Warfare where the guys could sit in the rocks over in the corner? Uh, it's one of the DLCs. I can't for laugh me remember it, but it kind of reminds me of that map. You, I, you guys don't talk about the one where the, you can still go and sit in that one rock. Um, yeah, Hangar 18 reminds me of that map. As in, it's a good map, and there are some really good spots that play out really nicely, but it doesn't get used to its full potential half the map doesn't get used and it's like why make a map that big where people are going to spawn right out in the middle of nowhere where there's no action it's going to take them like a couple of seconds to sprint back into it it just seems pointless i don't understand why make just should make the map a bit smaller then instead of it being like a 700 megabyte dlc it will just be like 500 meg save us all a bit of space on our hard drives and that that dead piece of map will never get used anyway it just seems pointless but uh, again, that map's grown on me, especially in Domination. I do feel that the A flag and B flag are too close together in Domination. It seems, it, from the, the couple of games I've played on it, and played Domination, and people who spawned at A side, if you could keep A and get B, it was very easy to get a setup and just hold down A and B. And it, 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 you could make it very hard for people at C to even want to get in. But as usual, when we did get a lockdown, random pub noob would go and cap C, and it'd be like, oh banks now they're spawning everywhere but I think it was, uh, the gimmick of getting up on that blackbird kind of cheered me up a little bit to be completely honest it's not hangar is a, is a good map but it would take getting used to it's not a map that I think a lot of people can just jump into and be good at um, because it doesn't follow the I don't know if it, it just it feels a bit different it's a bit boxier than most maps you can catch my drift um, and now my favorite map out of the multiplayer map which you are watching now, Hazard, the remake of the old World of War map, uh, Cliffside? Cliffside, is that right? Yeah, Cliffside. Now, this map, it's very, very sniper friendly, 
which as you know if you play Call of Duty, especially if you play COD 4 and you wanted, you were getting pissed off this map as you could either just pull out an M16 and wreck them. This map, very similar. If you pull out an M16 or a G11 against snipers on this map, M16 A Corp is the regular G11, or even the G11 with that, um, not the sniper scope, the, the other weird scope that comes with it. Um, well, me with this G11, this is my first game on this map. Now, obviously, there's some previous knowledge because, you know, I've, I've played World of War and I've played it quite a bit, and Cliffside is one of the best maps on that game. So, there is previous map knowledge, but it didn't really come into play because although it's the same layout, so they say people say it's identically, it's not. It's, it's a little different. It's a bit wider and a little bit bigger in terms of the scale, I think. I'm, just, this is, I'm saying this is how it feels to me. It feels like it's a little bit wider. Um, but yeah, it, this this game, this is my first game on it, I hadn't played the map before, jumped into it, um, thought I would snipe because I had been told by people that it was a, a good snipe match. Noticed that everyone was sniping and thought, no, I'm going to pull out the G11 and just wreck, and that's what I did. Uh, I used the UAV uh, care package and Blackbird, mainly because UAV and Blackbird are going to tell me where everyone's going, which helps me learn the map, and care package just because it's the random factor of, oh, I may get, like, I've got a rolling thunder in this, and, and I believe later on I get an attack helicopter, just for the random fact that, yeah, you, you do get some nice things sometimes. And I think I was trying to get a, not a contract, but do a challenge. Here, where this guy is, he just new tube the dog. When you have A and B and you push up into the C spawn, one guy always spawns right where that guy was standing when he new tube um, the dog. So, if you're ever sitting where I'm sitting here, just holding it down, then you really, really need to, like, pay attention to that spot because they do just pop up and they're in sprinting distance to stab you in the back so that's one spawn I've noticed that can them kind of tricky if you get a good player spawn there it can turn things they can knock a few people off B and then their team can push up and catch B which in this map is all about the B flag um, if you're playing the slayer role and you're just playing for kills then yeah you can flank around either side and just wreck but um, the B flag in terms of I can imagine I, I think this map I don't know if it'd make a very good competitive map, but um, definitely not to see it in how it's played in the competitive playlist. Because it's bigger and there's more, there'll be, there's, I think competitive plays 4v4. So, 4v4 on this map, much more about holding down the flag. And I do think that this map is a very, very good domination map. It's all about the B flag and playing those flanks to keep people out from getting behind you and getting into the B flag. So this map for me is, is brilliant and I really can see this map. I, I remember playing Capture the Flag on Cliffside in World of War and that being one of the most fun maps to play Capture the Flag on. So I can't wait to get into Mosh Pit maybe and the, the Annihilation playlist and actually get some games of um, Capture the Flag. I think it's going to be very good. And all you snipers out there that are like fucking wanting to be able to snipe, you just snipe this map. I know it's easy to get wrecked by other guns, but at the end of the day, this is the map to snipe in. It really is a, a brilliant map for sniping. I've had a couple of games of sniping and gone. got a decent score of like 2KDs with the sniper, which is a decent game. It's not brilliant, but it's a decent game. Um, now, the zombie map. Now, I'm not the biggest zombie fan. I don't play it a lot. I only really started getting into zombies um, in Black Ops. I wasn't a big zombie fan in World of War. And after playing the Call of, Call of the Dead map, um, with Mr. Romero, playing it with guys in a party and trying to do the easter egg and playing it for like two or three hours at a time. have to say, I am now a zombie fan. I've been converted by my friends and, and now I love zombies and the new zombie map is brilliant. They've got a map where it's actually fairly difficult to camp without having to have like the George Romero mechanic of a, a character constantly chasing you around to keep you moving. The map itself does a pretty good job of keeping you from camping. Also, um, the easter egg seems like it's going to have about 15 fucking steps, which at, at first I was like, oh fuck this, we're going to spend hours like with crawlers trying to, but from what I've heard, the, the steps that people have got so far, or, um, the, or as far as I've heard the steps that people have so far, I think there's about 10 steps so far, I'm not that, I may be completely wrong there, if I am, let me know, and if you know any links to any people that have done it, or any video showing how to do it, Send me them, because <laughs> we, re we really want to do it, and we want to get a video up of it as well, so, yeah, that map, that, if you're, if you're a Zombies fan, then you're going to buy this map pack, I don't even need to tell you, go and buy it, it's a good map pack, but you're going to buy it, because the Zombies map is fucking ridiculous, proper ridiculous, it's very, very good, 
and the fact that they've got these like new types of zombies into it as well, just for me, adds a, I like the fact that they're doing that now. It's not just a case of, oh, what, what can we change? Oh, what can we put in like new weapons? It's, let's put new enemies in because, to be honest, horde mode in Gears is going to take some beating. But the new horde 2.0, uh, horde mode 2.0, looks phenomenal with all these like setups and the, the mech and all these different ma massive boss enemies. It's fucking crazy, and I think that's going to give the zombie mode in uh, Call of Duty a run for its money. So, yeah, I hope I hope they can keep doing this. And if there is another map pack after this, I, I, I'm really looking forward to the zombie map. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on the map. Um, Gameplay's over. I believe that's a 45 kills for 10 deaths. I think about 95% of my kills were. Oh, well, I didn't have any lethal um, kill streaks other than my care package, so most of my kills are from my gun. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you've got the maps, let me know what you think about if you're enjoying them down below. If you think it was worth the 1200 Microsoft points, let me know down below. Please give this video a rating, it helps me out so much and helps me get more views. And uh, thank you guys, I love you very much. Bye.